Cold Harbor was written and directed by local talent Carrie McKenzie. She wrote the lead role specifically for Tony, and we understood why when we met him for a private screening at the offices of the film's distributors. What an appropriate place to meet. I'm talking yeah. about who's who meet here to view all the best films. Well, yeah, well, this is our, our, our private viewing room. This is where we come, we critique ourselves, we look at our work before the work goes out there, you know. After supporting roles opposite Morgan Freeman and Idris Elba, Tony's name is now first on the bill. So you move from the theatre to our local screens and then of course the big screen. Well that's, that's where it is right now. Uh, but I'm still doing theatre though. I uh, just make sure that I do like one or two theatre projects a year. Because theatre, you know, I, I believe that's where I, I strengthen my muscle. Right. My performance muscle. Right. You know, so I'll always now and then go back there, strengthen that muscle. So when the film comes, you know, I'm ready for it. Let's talk about Cold Harbour. What is it about? Cold Harbour is a thriller. And it's about the Parliament Syndicate in Cape Town. And the movie's about this guy who goes into that kind of syndicate and tries to bust everyone down. But in the process of doing that, he just realizes that he's actually surrounded by people who are also involved in that, his friend. And then his boss, who's basically like his father in terms of work, he's also part of it. And then he has to make a choice. Like, And that's why we have this line in the movie that when there's no one to trust, just trust yourself. Would that apply in your personal life? Well, I trust myself a lot, yes, I do. There's a risk that he may be tempted. When you deal with organized crime, there's all kinds of money. What's that business by the Not Caesar, sir. He's committed. Tell me about your role. How did you prepare and how different is it from anything you've done before? Well, the, the technique is the same. But obviously with this one, because the story is different, then we have to go into like a different setting. Like, I have to go into like police station and try to understand how the police do their work. Uh, I spent time in Cape Town, Kali, Chalanga. Let's kind of like see the attitude and the people, the, how people react and how people react to police as well. What makes you think that I'll take a bribe? Hey! I need people I can trust. I don't take loyalty for granted. The camera will immediately pick up if an actor is overweight or out of shape. And with Tony's love of basketball and boxing, he's naturally fit enough to take on action roles. I think sometimes people don't understand that acting is actually a physical art form. Well, I choose to make it an active art form because uh, I mean, doing things like training like this, boxing, I mean, if you do fight scenes, it doesn't look awkward. At least you know how to punch, you know, your punch can come out correct, it doesn't look like one of those, you know. So um, it really helped, and because I do my own stunts as well, it helps to just keep me focused and keep me doing my things correctly, you know. You've had some absolutely amazing roles. Which moments kind of stand out for you in your career? Um, you know, I remember playing Jason Chavalala in Invictus, Walter Sisulu, Long Walk to Freedom. That was amazing. Yeah, I really enjoyed it because I, I just feel like that character of Walter is just an amazing character, even in the history of our struggle, in the history of this country. And that's why today we can stand here, you know, and celebrate this 20 years of democracy. If this star has been directed by Clint Eastwood, it counts for little here, and that's how he likes it. I'm too scared to hit him hard. I don't know what to do. I, 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 think, I think I've got a better idea. Okay. I think we're better off doing something dancey, because I know you were a dancer. Uh, back in the day with Gregory, remember those days? Oh. Am I taking you back? <laughs> So I think we'll be better off in the dance studio. What do you, you think, think we should go dance? Yeah, I think you need people your match to be boxing, you know what yeah, I mean? Well, She's go. a lady and she likes to do pretty things. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go dance. Fantastic. Good feet are a useful asset in boxing and in another of Mr. Koroche's loves, salsa. It's a world far from his upbringing in Mangawong, but his teacher thinks he was born to it. We're going to take you down to do salsa and just see what's going on. So tell her, let's see what this lady's got. She's actually a ballerina. Wow. She okay. does one of those... Uh... Okay. But it requires a different technique. Salsa is a bit looser, you know, we're going to get the spine going, you know, get, it's more rhythmical, so uh, you're going to love it. Tony, when you started your career, did you know that you'd have to be an all-round entertainer, not just an actor? I don't know when this passion started. I just started doing things, and as I go along, I pick up things, and mostly things that are arty. So this is one of the things that I picked up, like salsa. And it's actually great. It also works well, you know, with my performance. It helps with the performance somehow. 
In his personal life, Tony's dance card has had room for only one name, that of his wife of 11 years, the mother of his child, and fellow actor and cast member in Long Walk to Freedom, Standiwem Somi. You must be so proud of him, the awards he's gotten, directing, and really telling South African stories, which a lot of people aren't really doing. This is just who he's always been, from uh, community art centers. Everyone will tell you he's been the guy saying, let's tell the Shara Zulu story, let's tell them treasure story. So, so proud of him. You were also an actress, and the only time you guys did a film together was Long Walk to Freedom. Just a, a beautiful, African love story, you know, why yes. not? That through politics and all those things that were happening, people were falling in love, you know? So how would so, you look at me on screen if we did a love story? Love I'll us. look at you as my direct. Like, I know we are... He's I'm so strict. Now. He was like, stop, please be serious, do you know your lines? <laughs> like, I was like, don't embarrass me. Yo. But, yeah. Since you have a dance champion living in the house, do you guys ever dance together? <sighs> He's too good. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm like, two left feet. In 2010, Hollywood magazine Variety listed Tony as a talent poised to break out. And he's made good on that by having just won Best Actor at the Durban International Film Fest for his role in Cold Harbor. Congratulations, Tony.